Hey guys, what's up? Timmy J Tech here, and welcome back to Valorant Adventures. In the last episode, we were able to collect a lot of good resources, as well as level up our fire staff, which, look at this new updated staff. It looks so beautiful. It's like an actual fire staff now, and we're going to continue to upgrade it by going to the next level dungeon, which I'm really excited about because there are a lot of dungeons to explore, and it doesn't seem like any are nearby us, because that's a, a level 5. Um, that's level 2. So let's try to, yeah, right there, we're catacombs. So I'm going to have to travel a far ways to get there. But it seems like it's just this way east, so I'm just going to, you know, start my journey. Got to get there somehow. Maybe I can get to the top of a mountain and then glide down. That's probably the best way to do it because it's the quickest way to travel right now. And if I could even find a gnarling fortress and then get a pet, that would even be better because now pets can heal from potions and food. So, I don't have to worry about my pet just, you know, dying and never coming back. So, once I can find either a Gnarling Fortress or the next dungeon, then we can complete that. But until then, it's just gonna be lots more exploration. So, here we go, up the mountain. Gotta make sure I collect all the twigs and logs as I pass them, but there will be plenty more. Alright, slowly go up this mountain. It's nice to roll up mountains, but sometimes you hit that two block gap and then you can't. I just gotta do my best to get up there. We're almost to the snow. Look at that. Ooh. It's a chilly mountain. Gold hammer snowfields. Ooh. That's really cool. There's actually snowfields up here. Is there anything down here? Nope. Oh, the sound of the snow is really nice. Wow, and these aren't even the tallest mountains out there. Look at this world. It looks so beautiful. With all these trees. Everything's loaded. Oh, there's a parrot. Look at him go. <laughs> Just gliding in the wind. Alright, still heading east. Let's see. Should probably point a little bit to the left. That's alright. I can just glide on down here. And this should be exactly the way I want to go. So I just got to follow these mountains. And I'll be there in no time. It would be nice if I could upgrade my gliding. Uh, just like in Cube World, you know, be able to go faster. But I think there's only one gliding speed. Maybe I can unlock new gliders that go faster or something like that. I know there's other gliders, I just don't know how to craft them. Alright, I finally made it to the top of this mountain. It probably took me about 10 minutes just to get up here. Which is insane, because this is probably one of the tallest mountains out here. And I can finally glide safely down. Like, look at that. The world is so far away, it's kind of loading in as I get closer. This is just one big mountain. I, I didn't even get all the way up there. Oh, no, 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 no. That was close. Don't want to ruin my glide. There we go. I almost looked up too high and then crashed. But that's alright, I just landed, and now I can continue to get to the other side of this mountain. It's just so tedious. Because the mountain isn't just straight up, so I can't really roll up it, I have to like, roll and climb. It takes forever. Alright, and we finally made it to the other side of the mountain. You can finally see the other side. And now we go down, here we go. I believe we're headed the right way. Yeah, I need to go a little bit to the left. Perfect. And, whoa, there's a huge tree over there. Do you guys see that? Barely loaded in right above my glider. Maybe we'll head over there and see if anything important is over there. I know I don't have anything else checked right here, so... I mean, we could be headed into anything, honestly. But there's that tree. So it's about halfway there, I feel like. But I can't really go to the tree. I need to stick to the left. So if I head to the tree, it's going to be kind of off course. So as long as I head straight this way, I should be going straight to that level 4 dungeon. Which is called the Were Catacombs. Oh boy. It doesn't seem like there's very many level 4 dungeons. There's just like one up here, the Yas Pit. But everything around here is level 5. Or lower. I was told that the castles don't really have much and they're just placeholders right now. 
But look at this. There's an igloo. I guess I'll stop here for a second. Whoa, there's a lot of guys in there. Yep, I better be careful. I don't have a campfire, so I would spawn all the way back to where I started. And I don't want to do that. Because it's already taken me a long time to get up that mountain. So let's try to find a campfire that I can stop at. Keep passing these twigs. Oh my goodness. And wolves. Yep, they're all after me, aren't they? Great. No! Why are there so many wolves? Alright, I think if I glide over the water, I should be fine. There's gonna be... Plenty more wolves where that came from, though. I already can tell. We are in a vast, scary snowfield, so... There really could be anything around any corner. There we go. I found a campfire, finally. Alright. Just gonna head straight there. No detours. Not even gonna stop to pick up items. Alright. I am safe. There we go. Waypoint saved. So now if I head just straight this way, I should be coming up to the level 4 dungeon pretty quickly. Maybe I can collect some more items. I did get another red bag in the last episode, so I have a lot more slots for random junk that I want to pick up, which is nice. But hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. Just gonna pick up these twigs. Running through. I don't know what moon bells do, but they seem... Interesting. Maybe they craft into some sort of food or we the knows. Might as well grab them though so that I have them if I need them. Gotta keep going. And I know it's getting pretty dark. I'll probably have to, you know, stand still for a bit and wait for daytime. It's probably just the best idea because then I can see too. I can barely see with this light. It's like really bright and so it like shines out and you can barely see what's past it, but that's alright. As soon as I maybe find another campfire, I'll stop. I'm just trying to get as far as I can. And it looks like we're gonna hit a town before we hit the dungeon, which is perfect. We can stock up on different items and stuff, like potions. Um, well, this isn't good. I gotta keep running from this, though. Oh, landed in the tree. There we go. I think they're off of me now. Where is a campfire? Does this count? Yes, waypoint saved. Alright, perfect. I made it to the town. And look at that. It is a clear night. Well, there's a little bit of clouds, but the moon is shining. It is full moon. And we can now look through all these houses and look for this loot. There we go. What do you have for me? Cactus Colada. Yes, see, that'll be perfect for this dungeon. Because now, instead of just like dying and we going back through the whole dungeon. I can just pop some potions or or drink this colada. Who else has loot for me? There we go. Got some more crates. And a mushroom curry. That's perfect. All right. Empty vial just in case. If I collect all these empty vials, then I can craft potions at a black cauldron. Oh, but a minor potion. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Awesome. A straw hat. Who am I? Look at me go. Nice. This actually kind of goes with the, the fit. Like, because we got the cape and the, the straw hat has like a red stripe around it, which matches the cape. I like this. Nice. Oh, good thing that my hat doesn't fall off when I roll. So for the medium potion, you need velarite fragments and minor potions. So if I craft two more of these, then I can craft four Oh, no, you need four Velarite Fragments per medium potion. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, Might have just wasted some of my minor potions, but that's alright. Let's see if I can find any more. They're mostly upstairs. We go do more Dwarven Cheese. Nothing up here. I don't want to spend too much time here, but I am just kind of waiting for day, so... Doesn't matter too much. Another empty vial. Another empty vial. Alright, the cooking pot. Let's see. What can I make? There are mushrooms on a stick. Apples on a stick. Cooked fish, which is probably smart to craft. Um, cooked tough meat. Probably smart to craft as well. 
and cook liver meat. Just gotta cook all this meat. Might as well make some of these and some of these. Alright, perfect. Now we have a bunch of food, so I'm just gonna put this on my hotbar. Um, put it there. And the apples. Perfect. And the last fish. Alright. And then minor potions. Oh, I need more apples. I forgot that I need those for uh, crafting potions, but Five times four. I need 20 apples. Can I buy apples? That would be pretty useful. Let's see. Do you have apples? Yes, coconuts and apple stick. Oh, there we go. Um, they offer... Whoa, 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 whoa. I swear, is it 26 per? I guess it's 27 coins per apple. So that's not a very good deal. Even though I just bought one, but apples are pretty easy to find. Oh, and there's some twigs. So I might as well just look for my own apples and craft some potions later. I do have a bunch of food, so that's really good. And it seems like it's becoming day. I'm just going to wait a bit longer, and then we can head out to the dungeon. There we go. The sun is rising, and it is day. So let's head straight out to this dungeon. I have to go this way to the left. So I'm just going to kind of follow the path, I guess, a bit until I can just stray away from it. And we shouldn't be too far from this dungeon, which is pretty exciting. I don't know what to expect because this is a new dungeon that I've never fought. So it might be all new creatures or it could be the same creatures. All right, I made up this tiny hill, so I'm going to, well, I guess it's sort of a mountain. I'm just going to fly on down to the dungeon. It's right there. Perfect. Right on the side of the lake. That's really exciting. I don't know what to expect, but I mean, it's gotta be something interesting down there. Alright, just gonna land right next to the campfire, so I set my spawn. Perfect. And let's head down. Oh, it's a spiral staircase right off the bat. Very interesting. Alright. Well, so far it's looking about the same. But what, what are those guys? I don't even know. I don't know what way to go either. This is always the first thing I'm like, do I just run through and try to find the right path? Okay, well, I found the right path already. These guys seem kind of slow. Human soldier. Um, I don't do too much damage to him. He does have armor. But if I keep my distance, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Gonna try to set him on fire if I can. That's gonna be my main source of damage. But I don't think he can get set on fire. Looks like he's resistant. Probably all that armor. Even though it is iron, iron would burn and hurt. But that's alright. Gonna keep circling around. It's a Haniwa soldier. I wonder if I can, like, get him. In a weird state. Yep, where he's across now. Now he's just gonna constantly try to walk towards me. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. Alright, now I can grab this. Oh, a salad. That's yummy. Already headed down to the second floor. How exciting. I don't know what to expect, but I mean, that guy wasn't too, too bad. Alright. I think that's a Velarite fragment. I'm pretty sure I want that. There we go, pick that up. I need to keep an eye out for those more often. And then, where's my staff? There we go. Put that back on. Alright, let's take out this guy. What are those things over there? I don't even know. That's spooky. Alright, these guards don't seem to have bows, which is nice. There might be a bow guard, but it seems like this guy just has like a spear or like a axe thing. Whoa. Yeah, they're definitely spears. Gonna use my AoE attacks on them. It's perfect, because they're just staying together, so. And make sure to get all the hits off on both of them. There we go. Almost got that first guy. I keep circling. This is just the best strat for these guys, because they can't even touch me at this point. There we go. Is he gonna run? Yeah. Makes sense. Go a couple more. 
one more. Oh, now one more. Perfect. Didn't drop anything, but no worries. Ooh, and we got a sword skill point. Very nice. I'm trying to level up my staff even more. But it'll take a while. Alright, I think that's everyone in this room. What is that? Oh my goodness, it's just like a sentry. Fire sentry. At least it doesn't have very much health. I can just easily take that out from range. Cool. Alright, I also want to try the bow. I haven't tried the bow at all. Maybe I can try it against these guys. Whoa, 26 damage? This is so much damage. Oh, wow. I got a hard power pace. Carap carapace. Tough hard carapace to shield... A shield to many creatures. Alright. So that isn't a hide ingredient, so... That's probably to make the next armor. But there we go. If I actually aim all the way in, it does so much damage. There we go. And I can easily just hit tab and switch to my sword if I need to. But wow, that does a lot of damage. That's exciting. I think I can actually do some pretty decent damage to the boss. Oh no. There we go. Seven damage, nine damage. It just depends on how quick you click. It's like if I actually hold it in an aim. Let's see. Oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, that only did six damage. Oh, and that's an archer. I'm about to have an archer battle. My first archer battle. Ow. Wait for him to cross the corner. Oh, kind of hard to aim because if you're hitting WSD, it actually like kind of aims to the side. All right, I actually want to equip my staff. Where's my staff? There we go. Oh. There we go, just try to dodge. Oh yeah, I can just dodge if I move left and right. Okay, perfect, good to know. Just a bit slower once I attack. There we go. Oh, he got me that time. Just trying to keep as much health as I can. I don't want to waste any food or potions, but if I have to, I will. Is that half health? These guys have a lot more armor than the other ones. There we go, oh. Yeah, see, I might have to run now. Oh, I don't want to run this way, though. Oh, he didn't... He doesn't see me. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's spooky. Can't get the archer anymore. That's alright, I'm back in this room. I gotta take on this guy. Maybe I can... Cheese him up the stairs. I just have to heal up really quick, so I'm gonna run up here and heal. You just gotta, like, mess up their pathing so that they, like, walk to you, but they're trying to figure out which way to walk so that they don't, like, just run straight at you. It's kind of interesting. There we go. Oh, I need stamina bad. I should keep an eye on that. It'd be nice if there's an indicator that showed, like, hey, you're out of stamina, you can't dash, instead of just not being able to, you know, roll or anything. Oh, he got there quick. Alright, a little bit more. I wish my fire staff did more damage, but that's why I'm trying to level it up. There we go, a little bit more. Come on. Alright, and just like I said, gotta level up the fire staff, so let's see. Fire staff. I want to level up the damage. It requires 2 SP, of course. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna need another level before anything happens there. If I can, like, do this, yeah. This is exactly what I want to do with archers. It is very cheesy, but I don't want to have to deal with them at all. They're very annoying. There we go. Just gotta make sure I aim the right spot. It's just because the arrows hit the side or they miss, so makes it a lot easier for me, whereas my spells just go through the wall. I'm not trying to waste my time or potions. I'm just trying to get rid of these archers. One more. Perfect. This is not the room I was looking for. All right, headed back. So I think it's this other room to my right. 
stones. Might as well. There's multiple rooms. That has a sentry. I don't want to deal with the sentry. The guard isn't too bad, but... I'm just gonna run through here. Yep, here's the next area. Anything... Oh, there's more of those guys. I kind of want to fight those guys. They're not too bad to fight. Just gonna circle around this guy. There we go. Perfect, yeah. And this is a circle, so it's not like he can just walk around the square staircase. This one, he thinks he's walking to me because it's in a circular motion, but... Oh, now he figured it out. But I can kind of just stay around the edge. There we go. A little bit more. Perfect. But he figured out the pathing now. It's like, ah, if I just go over here... There we go. Got him. And he dropped a mushroom on a stick. Very helpful. Alright, let's swap to the bow now. And I'm just going to snipe these guys. They do jump, which is kind of crazy. Whoa! I don't think holding down the bow all the way is necessary. Maybe just for the first one. But after that, it just takes too long to snipe. Oh, and these guys jump like crazy. There we go. One more. Oh yeah. Perfect. Alright, that one gave meat. Which is alright, but I need their scales. Oh, and I keep forgetting that they jump. Oh no, he hit me. There we go. A little bit more of this. Oh wow, he didn't actually get me this time. Because these guys jump, I can't like keep my distance. Oh, and then they jump over the arrows. Oh, that was so close. Wow. Alright, time to eat up. I tried to swap to my sword, but for whatever reason, it wouldn't let me. I'm hitting tab. I guess if you're, like, mid-shooting... Can't switch. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I think I was just trying to shoot and switch at the same time, so it wouldn't let me. Good to know. But at least we got him. I should probably heal up one more time. I'll eat my f cooked fish. Yummy, yummy. That should get me to full health. I do need more health, too. That'd be a very nice upgrade. But let's continue down. I'm not even sure if I can actually take on the boss here. I'm getting a bit worried, because it could be a lot stronger than the last one. But we would just have to see. Um, oh, an apple. This is exactly what I need. All right. Perfect. Got my pickaxe. Grab that velarite. Grab some grass. Alright. Switch back to my sword just in case. And then use my bow. I just don't know which way to go. I don't want to go the wrong way. I have to fight a bunch of extra people. But I think this is the right way. Nope. Oh no. Oh, I'm already out of Stamina. Oh, and these are the guys that are going to jump at me. What? Dodge. Is it this room? Nope. Dodge all these guys. Just make sure that I don't use my roll too much. This dungeon floor is way too big. Alright, but I found where I need to go. And there's three of them after me. Alright, just wait around the corner. Oh, no, I missed. Alright, it's gonna be this guy now. Oh, no. Oh, no. I rolled the wrong way. Alright, I just gotta get down here and switch to my fire staff. I think that is the plan. And I am at the next area. Oh. Looks like there's chests. Oh no. What's even down here? Is the boss down here? Yep, that's the boss room. Alright. I need to just run away from all of these guys and heal up. There we go. And... Six. Perfect. Perfect. 
All right, if I can take out this guard, all is well. But these guys are really chasing me. I'm just trying to stay alive at this point. All right, no one's in here. Oh, this is actually perfect. Wait, they, yeah, they're still going to walk up. But I can take on these guards. Because these are the most important to take out first. And then I need to take out the other guys, which are honestly easier to take out those, like, jumping animal guys. But only with the bow. I need the fire staff for these guys. Well, I guess I haven't tried the fire staff on the other animal looking ones. I guess I can now. Oh, if I get hit, it just, like, ruins it all. Yeah, the fire staff is perfect for them, actually. So much damage. Alright. Got one of the guards running. And both of them are running now. Perfect. Okay. That was very stressful. Hey, don't run. There we go. Skill point. Very good. All right. I'm gonna eat this apple stick just in case, because this guy's coming up now, it seems like. And I can actually fight them with the fire, so that's not too bad. There we go. He's gonna jump. Yeah, because when they jump, I'm not gonna use the... Ooh, a hard carapace. If they jump, I can't use the arrows, because then I'm just gonna miss. If I use my fire staff, I'll actually have that AoE damage to actually, you know, hit them and stuff. So, the last one should be down here. We got a Bone Rattler. Oh yeah, that's what they're called, alright. So even though they drop, like, the, the hard... Um, hard copy... Bars, or whatever it's called. They, uh, are called Bone Rattlers. It's a really creepy name. Alright. I do need to take out these guys, though. That's for sure. I don't know if there's other guards, but... Oh yeah, there is. To take out both these guards and then I have two chests that I can claim. Hopefully it has some good loot. I wasn't able to see the boss. I did see the boss room that's next but I'm excited to see what kind of boss it is. Let's run through him. Yeah that's probably the best strat is to just run through him if there's only one of them. Perfect and ooh, a fire staff upgrade. I needed that right before the boss. Got another cactus colada probably get rid of these things because they're not useful and let's upgrade our fire staff I'm going to upgrade the damage increases by 5% so that should be a pretty decent upgrade oh, yeah, I need to wait and save up for more health because uh, that's going to be really useful to have more health it's going to take a lot more SP though and I have three hammer abilities so I'll do the knockback the leap radius this one, triple strike regen. And the spin speed, yeah. Speed is going to be important. Do I have any scepter levels? Nope. And mining? Nope. Alright, well, let's go claim these chests. There's no one else in this room. It takes forever to open these. I was trying to open it before and that one guy got me. 136 coins. Perfect. And four medium potions. Oh my goodness. That's what I was forgetting. I need to put my potions right here on my hop bar. Got medium potions and we got minor potions. I'm going to put these here. All right. That should be good for that. Should I have my salads? Might as well just eat them now. All right. I'm not full health, but that's all right. I think I want to start with the bow. And then, yeah. Alright, so I have the bow and the fire staff already equipped it, so. Whoa. There's two of them. Um, I don't know what to expect, really. A clay golem. Alright, it doesn't seem like they're crazy overleveled. Oh! He has a ranged ability. If I just sit here, I'm not gonna get hit by it, seems like. Because he's fire. So I just gotta be careful. Oh, he's got laser beams. He's got laser beams. That is spooky. I do not like that. He's just like me. He's got all the fire abilities. No, 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 no. And laser beams, dude. What? He actually has laser beams. That's why they only have 450 health, too, I guess. 
Ooh, dodge that. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright, it seems like he can't get me up here. But he does have fire abilities, so I'm guessing that they're gonna go through the wall. But so do mine, so I just gotta make sure that I can not die. Oh, I might have gotten out of his line of sight. This is perfect, actually. I did not think there would be two bosses, though. So, once I fight this guy, I'm gonna have to fight his friend. There we go. He's already about 100 health down. And I'm not getting hit with that AoE attack because it's just barely lower than me, I think. Must be, because I'm on a different stair than he is. Oh boy. We're at half of his health now, 225, there we go. This is very cheesy. I think they put the dungeon room like past the staircase, so you can't really use the stairs, but I just ran back and it actually is helping so much. And I know this isn't the best way to fight him, but I don't want to get hit by those laser beams. He did half of my health in like one hit. And I know how dangerous the fire is. I'm not even doing as much damage with the fire because even though I upgraded it, it's doing less than what it was before. Probably because he is clay. And he uses fire, so... Let's get these combos going. 73, 74, 75. And he's at 75 health, so he's really close to being dead and giving me some amazing item, hopefully. I don't even know what to expect. In the last dungeon, we got that really overpowered bow. Let's see. A little bit more damage. I will want to heal up, too, after this. Just in case. I'm glad I didn't attract the other golem. Ooh, we upgraded our fire staff, and we got blood steel battle axe. All right, and it's purple. Wow. All right, all right. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so fast. Oh, I might have to use this more than the sword then. All right, I'm going to put that at the bottom there. And let's go fight that other guy. I'm just going to heal up really quick. Oh, that was really spooky. I did not know what to expect. And he has lasers out of his eyes. <laughs> and fireballs. I don't know what to expect from him because he could be the same. Yep, it seems like he is the same. Let's try to get as many hits off as I can before he hits me. Yep, yeah, he's gonna use his laser soon. Oh no. This is so spooky. No, lasers, lasers! <laughs> Alright, just keep using my AoE attack. Oh, lasers again. Dude, he loves his lasers. There we go. That's the firebomb. I'm actually fighting him pretty well with, uh, without going to the stairs. The lasers are a bit slower than I thought. All right. I can just get behind him. Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. All right. Running back to the stairs. Seems like he's not coming through, though. If I just stay right here, maybe. There we go. He's coming through. Oh, lasers. Stay out of his range. Oh, that was a close one. All right. I gotta, like... Get some attacks going. There we go. This might be perfect right here, actually. So I don't think he can get up the stairs. The other guy went behind that way. But this guy doesn't seem to be as smart as his friend. So I'm just gonna sit right here. It's perfect. Alright, and he's already at half health, too. I fought him pretty decently without running to the stairs, but after those lasers, like, I do not have very much health. I don't want to sit in his attacks. Alright, and his last bit of health. Here we go. Couple more hits, and we'll see what he drops. I'm excited to see. Ooh, we upgraded our fire staff again. That's awesome. And we got a talisman. The Haniwa talisman. Talisman depicting a figure of unknown origin. Okay. So, stun resistance and more armor. It was better than the necklace we had, which, that's awesome. I mean, stun resistance seems like a really useful tactic. So 
that if I ever accidentally almost get knocked down, I won't. There we go, we got an apple. More guys are here, which I don't even want to fight. And I think there's probably just more guys up here. Oh, a sentry. Might as well take out the sentry. There we go. Oh, I do so much damage now. Let's uh, upgrade our staff really quick. Oh, actually. I want to get 3 SP to actually level up my damage again. Because I think the damage is the most important part. Look at that. I'm already doing 6 damage per instead of like 4. There we go. Oh, I wonder what the right click ability does. Drills through it, but... Don't, who needs stamina when you can just one-shot them? Go, finish off this guard. He's running already. Oh no, he was just afraid. <laughs> Something. Now he's running. Oh, I missed. He's running in circles. Perfect. 42 experience. Alright, and that is a level 4 dungeon. I don't even know if I'm ready for a level 5 dungeon. I mean, I, I might as well be. If I'm just going to use the stairs, then... They can't hit me, because that's the biggest thing, is I need to upgrade my armor so they don't do as much. So maybe I farm some level 4 dungeons and get these, uh, what are they called? Oh yeah, here we go, hard carapace. So I'm guessing that this is the next armor I'm going to need, either that or the troll hide. I'm not really sure, it seems like trolls are going to be harder to find. Alright, and there you have it. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like. Uh, more Valorant content coming soon. If you want to see something specific, just let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to keep farming and trying to get to a level 5 dungeon. I do want to farm up and get a pet soon. There are so many different kinds of pets that I could get, but we'll just have to see. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. But if you did enjoy, please drop a like. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.